Welcome everyone to this video. We'll be taking a look at Panasonic UE100 today and the wingman is PTC Extreme. This is our flagship controller at Skahoy for typically control of these very high-end PTC cameras. I love this camera. It's really smooth in the movement. I think that's a high quality on a PTC camera, but it's also an amazing 4K camera. 60p 4K, 12G SDI output. It also has wide angle, angle lens in it and still 20 times, um, 24 times optical zoom. And on the uh, protocol side, you find NDI, NDI HX, and uh, SRT transmission protocols from the camera. So you can actually have a IP only uh, life with this one. Of course, we control it over IP. We use uh, PoE power and, and so on when we control any camera. And one of the things Panasonic talk about is how this camera has a new mechanical engine or, or system for pan tilt movement that will uh, improve the responsiveness and the quietness of this camera. So let's see if that is really true. The PTC Extreme is laid out in a very classic way. And the classic way I mean that the lower row of buttons are typically selecting your camera. You can see today I have three cameras on my network and two of them will not be dealing with. I think they are somewhere in my facility, but camera number one is this one in front of me. I can also move the camera with the joystick. Oh, already you see this is really smooth pan movement. I think we actually zoomed in, right? Now I zoom out. So you see with the Hall Effect joystick on the PTC Extreme, I have really nice control of this camera. Wow, this is great. All right, so um, there's clearly something great going on right there. Let's just zoom in a little bit more and create a preset on the controller because on the second row, we typically store presets. So press and hold, you store the preset and let's just move over to the uh, Chinese clay um, dolls here. So I'm just trying to make a, a quick uh, zoom on this one. I'm a little unsure if we can really get everything perfectly in focus because we are so close. So yeah, actually we can, great. I was not really sure about that because the distance is super short here in my studio. But as you can see, I have great focus on these two, thanks to the focus wheel right here. Oh, by the way, um, zoom rocker, iris wheel, focus wheel. Okay, so let's just see about iris. You see also pretty smooth iris. It's not too bad, right? No, not too much stepping. So that's a quality of one of the, the better brands. Now we were about storing these as a preset. So let's just press and hold here to store this one and then just see what the zoom rocker can do. I just pressed it uh, pretty hard there. Now I'm pressing it far more lightly so I get a creep zoom. This, this is great. Oh, do you know about um, cruise control, PTC cruise control? That's a Skahoy feature. Let me show you what that is about. Let's say I want to do this uh, creep zoom. So I'm just starting it and then notice what I'm doing on the controller here. I'm pressing this button and then hands off it is still creep zooming until it stops. And you saw it on the display that it was counting down uh, five seconds. So the moment I pressed that button it would lock itself to the speed I had the joystick at and just keep moving until it timed out. And um, that's cruise control for you, just like on the highway, although your car will normally not stop driving after five seconds. But you see the point, if you could have this kind of smooth creep zoom for your camera, you could change to a different camera, recall a preset, you could go to your vision mixing system over here and uh, change to that other camera, all while the first camera was in motion. And I think this camera does that really well because it has such a great engine for pan tilt and zoom. Smooth movements makes this possible. So uh, let's just do the preset recall. I'm just recalling that preset. Okay, that was good. I recall this preset that we had before. Perfect, great. Talking about automation features, we also have PTC Trace for Panasonic cameras. So uh, what I can also do is to start a movement, uh, sorry, recording of movements. So let's see how that works. I'll just press and hold number two here. And now you see it, it's actually ready to record. So I am now moving the joystick to just uh, pan a little bit to the side and I'm zooming out at the same time. No, I'm zooming in actually, but now I'm zooming out. So, um, okay. And then let's say that I'm just want to stop this and then I'm panning a little bit back once again. So I'm basically making a smooth move. Obviously I'm not the perfect camera operator. You can probably get a better one for your money, but 
this is uh, all we got today. So I'm just going to stop this recording. Uh, 34 seconds, I think, about that time. So if I press this button, it's first going to go to the starting location. And then you'll see it's now counting down from the time that it takes. So you see that I'm zooming in. I'm moving a little bit to the side. I'm zooming out again because I changed my mind. And in a moment, it's going to stop. And then it's going to move back once again. So this is PTC Trace replay of particular moves you did with your joystick. That's pretty neat as well. I could see that used in a lot of live production scenarios. Now, let's move to the upper section here. What else do we have? We have seen the zoom rock or the iris wheel, this one, the joystick has pan tilt and zoom as well. But up here we have so many settings and it's all managed by this menu. And if I uh, sometimes when I press these menu buttons twice, you'll see that it toggles uh, an option or two because that there's so much that even though we have eight encoders times nine buttons, we can't fit it all in or it doesn't belong in a given category. So if I go to white balance here, you can see there's a particular one called pedestal offset and master pedestal. They are basically sharing the same knob. So this is sometimes how we do it on a Skyhoy controller, trying to, to balance things out with those second layers of um, access that you can find on a system like this one. So on exposure control, you have iris, you have, um, yeah, and iris was controlled by this direct access knob as well, but you can do it up here as well, of course, since this is the menu giving you access to all this stuff. But I won't focus on the exposure today, nor will I focus on uh, white balance, picture knee, uh, the PDC control section. You can see what is in the displays and you can defer from that what, um, or infer from that what is uh, beneath. But I want to bring us all over to, oh, by the way, see here, you actually can access the um, um, the, the on-screen menu of the camera. You can move the cursor around in that context and so on. But my point is, I want to bring you over to crop control. So this camera has a fancy crop control enabled. Let's just go to a preset like this one. Good. So if I go to crop settings and I enable crop control on the 3G SDI output of the camera that I'm currently using, I'm doing it on this button. You see that I'm now cropping into a specific crop. So this is inside the camera. You can have uh, three crops of your 4K image delivered as HD. And those crops um, are named a little funky in here. There's one called YL. And you see, if I change on this button, I go to crop number G and crop number MG. I'm pretty sure that this makes sense if you saw the web interface because the crops has colors. So we are dealing with magenta, green and yellow. Okay, but this is just crops, okay? Three different crops with the same view of the camera. So with the PDC Extreme, you can adjust these crops. I'm currently on the magenta crop. So if I go to the MG crop over here, I can adjust the, um, the XY position of this crop to whatever I like. If I go to another crop here, the, the green crop, I can adjust the cropping for this one. And essentially it's possible in this way to switch between crops, like if it was a little video switcher. So that's one of the unique features that you find in the uh, UE100. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's also in the UE150. So on these high-end cameras from Panasonic. But hey, I think that with this camera today, we have really seen that it is probably true that this camera has an improved engine for pan tail and zoom movements. Uh, smooth, you can do it on air now, uh, which is a significant improvement on PTC cameras. So that's one of the things that makes me very excited and also how well it is integrated with the PTC Extreme.